in this video we will be creating a react mini project a card like this and it will support a single card or we can show multiple cards as well so let's see this will be responsive when we reduce the size of screen it will auto adjust itself and it will go to multiple lines and this will be scroll level so we will go step by step step zero will be we will start a react project using white then we will initialize the project structure we will style the body background then we will make the card component this complete card component then card image component this one then card label component this header and then this description which is step six then we'll bring these card components together and we will create a card finally we will make it data driven so that as you saw in the intro we can show multiple cards based on data so let's start with step zero for that you have to run a command with yarn yarn create with this is your project name and what template do you want to use so here we will be using react as you can see cards directory has been created let's change our directory to cards let's start vs code so after starting our project we have to run yarn install inside it so it will install all the dependencies available in package.json this will take some time okay it's done now let's run our project so for that what we have to do is as you can see here to start a dev on our local we have to use which so what we will do is we will run yarn which has started a local server on this 5174 let's run it on chrome as you can see our project is running on port number 5174 let's clean up our project before that what we will do is we will go to source okay so this is our app entry go to app component remove this everything we don't need this we don't need this let's clear everything these all are default styles let's remove these all as well we don't need this delete this okay as you can see now we don't have anything here and this app is coming from here this was our initial setup now step one we'll initialize project structure so as you can see here we need four components here one will be for this card image second will be for card header and third will be for card description and one will be card itself so let's create files so we'll go to source we'll create folders we need card card label card description card these will be our four components and inside each of them we need to have one index.jsx which will export the card component and, and we will have the component itself card.jsx so if we are writing a component it's a common practice to start it with a capital letter similarly here and we, we will need some style as well so for that card.css similarly i will do this for all three of these components after that we will start writing the code i have created this basic project structure with all the components and now we will go to step three step three is we need to style the cards background so let's do that first so for that we'll go to this index.css and we'll write the style for body will be a margin of one rem we need to repeat the background on the y-axis in the case when the number of cards will go to next page so for that background repeat we need to repeat on y-axis next background image for that we'll need url i have this galaxy url let's say now the background is done now let's go to step three we'll make the card component so let's go to our card.jsx and we using an extension which will give me a component if you want to know the name of this extension you can write it in the comment box i will let you know so this is our card component what card component will do it will just take this component and it will render it inside it so this is our card with this mirror like background and these are the three components which will render inside it so for that what we'll do we'll just take our children from the prop and we will render it here and inside div we will render the children so it's giving some error so let's write props validation as well so for that go prop types from prop types so children must be there so prop types dot it should be like it should be a node and it should be mandatory so it's required so this error is gone now we need to style this right this one this background so to style this card we will give it a class name card and we will import css from here dot slash card dot css okay let's go to this card dot css and write the style ah there is a mistake here let's, try this. Okay. let's go here and for card background color you can use any other color you can experiment yourself we have some border radius to it we'll give it 0 0.5 always try to use rem throughout the project text color will be white padding one rem 
will fix the height to 40 rem, width to 25 rem. All the cards should have a distance between its shavings of 1 rem. And to give it a filter like this, so that background will be visible a bit, we need a property background filter. Takes a function blur, and for now I will give it 4px. And see, when the number of cards will be more, it needs to go to next line, and it should not shrink. On, but only in the case of when the size of the screen is more than this, right? Somewhere more than this. So for that, we will write a media query and it should be only for a screen and mean in width should be 70 rem I will type. So this property won't let cards to shrink. So that's all. This is all our card component. So this last stage, we need to export this card from our index.js so that we don't have to write slash card slash card while importing. So for that, what we will do? Export default let's import it from that's all so now let's check our card component so we'll write here card and we'll pass just cards here and we need to import it so for that import okay so this is our card component and it looks good now step four let's make a component which can show the image inside the card so let's go to card image i will take an arrow function here you don't need to import react it will import it by default it will be available globally and we need an image component here right which can display the image so for that image so we need to have an image component that it will have source for now i am giving a url we need to make it dynamic later on we don't need this we'll have a alt text this we need in case of image doesn't load it will show the text either in profile image so let's see we need to import this card image component as well and it should be inside card right something is breaking okay we need to export the card as well okay we missed the export in our index so we will export it export default okay so this image is going out of our card so we need to fix this using styles import our styles we'll give it a class name image we'll go to the css file we'll fix the width to 100 percent of its parent we'll give it a border radius so it should looks rounded okay as you can see it's working perfectly so this was our card image component let's go to next component which will be card label or you can say card header so for that as well what we will do first let's initialize a component and let's export it so that we don't forget it later now for card label we just have to show the header right so for that what we will do we will just return a div and we can say it lorem so now let's test our component card label we will go to app.jsx and we don't need this because we are exporting our card level component from index.js this should work okay here we are getting now let's make it bigger and give some margin to it let's style our card level so for that we will import the styles give it a class name card level we'll give it some padding top one rem left and right zero and on the bottom we'll give it a five rem padding so we'll make it a bigger font size okay now it looks good now let's go to next step that is card description we have already made this label component next we need to make card description component so for that we will go to card description we will create a arrow function we will give lorem lorem in sentence and we will give it 100 words now let's include this component in our card let's go to card sorry let's go to app we need to export it we always forget this for default again we don't need this extra okay as you can see we have the card description component here so let's style it as well let's make the text size a bit bigger so that it looks clear so for that we will go to card description import css we'll give it a class name of card description we'll increase the line height a bit okay so it looks good so this was all our card component now next step is since we have combined the card elements our next step is we will make it data driven so that it support multiple cards and this should not be hard coded even the image should not be hard coded and this should not be hard coded as well and description too so for that what we will do we will create a file 
in our assets and we will name it data.js and here we will have all the cards since we can have multiple cards here we will make it array of objects so it will have an id it will have image source it will have image label and sorry it should be card label and card description i will copy this from my previous project let's make it label and let's make it description export these cards now let's use these cards inside our app.jsx so we need to import that so now we need to map through these cards right it can there can be multiple cards so we need the map so what we can do we can use map function cards dot map uh, what this map will take it will take a callback function and it will give card to it we will give, give it a name card data something like this now what's next we need to extract all our values which will be dynamic from card data this will be coming from here this will be id image source label and description and we just have to return the card for each element so we will return this card Okay. we need to pass the key here what will be key? key will be id now what we have to do we have to pass this as a drop to each of these components like for image we need to pass the image source label label and it's description to card description so let me do that quickly okay so it's done now see this is our hard coded values right now we need to change it so to make it dynamic this value is dynamic we need to go to these components and update our logic we have to receive this from props so let's go to card image here what we, what we will get from here we will get the image source so we will get the image source from here and we will replace this source from the prop okay we need to add the props validation as well before that let me add the props validation okay so we won't have all for now we will keep it constant image source it will be a string right it will be an url so it will be a string let's import prop types now see our card image is taking this image source dynamically now but still it's showing let's change the image i will copy this and paste it in our data now this is getting updated we are not changing anything inside image component but just changing updating the data updates the image here i will revert it now see it's back to previous image now let's make this dynamic as well so we will be passing level from here it's the same here we will extract it and we will render the level here let's add the props validation as well now see since this is coming from card data now because we are not having anything hard coded here but it's coming from data see it's getting updated dynamically similarly we will do for description as well we are passing description extract it from props render it here let's add props validation okay see now it's coming from data.js there is a scroll coming here let me fix that we don't need this overflow okay now it's fixed so as you can see we have made this image dynamic label dynamic and this description dynamic now we need to test multiple cards we can have multiple cards right so what i will do i will just duplicate this value and update the id let's take some random image again let's update the image url and this will be our component 2 we'll, we'll give it a level of second card and we'll keep the description same similarly i will create another one and another one let's give it some random id now we have four cards now right here now we need to style it so that it, this all comes side by side and if the width of multiple cards goes beyond this screen it should come on next so let's do that go here and we will give this a class name 
container. Go to our CSS, we will give it a style display flex. Okay, so now these all are coming on the same line, but it's going beyond the screen, right? See, we have to scroll to get all the cards. So let's fix that. So for that, we'll make the container wrappable. Now it's going to the next line. But what will happen if there is only one card? We need to have it in the center. So for that, let's test. Since we have already added these styles, it should work. So let's comment few of our cards. As you can see, these all are data driven. If I comment this, we will have only one card now. See, and it's center aligned, right? Let's again uncomment this and test our complete project. So now let's check the flexibility of our app. So when we reduce the size of our browser, as you can see, it goes on the next row. Cards goes and keep going on the next rows. And this will be our smallest size device. That can be a phone as well. I hope you learned something from this video and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe now.